A big sigh of relief for several homeowners tonight, thanks to the efforts of firefighters. As Mike Anderson explains, some hard work overnight on the Quail Hollow Fire helped them protect homes and get a major upper hand. <laughs> Yeah, Dini, you can see that uh, some of the homes are just yards away from the fire line here. As you can imagine, that took some intense work overnight. Some of the homeowners were here to see it. Hiking through these trails behind Green Hill Drive, firefighters are busy looking for hot spots and putting them out. A very different scene from about 24 hours ago. Whenever we have homes or people in the urban interface fire environment. It is stressful. There's a lot going on. Much of the grueling work was done overnight as flames approached nearby homes. I probably went through 10 years worth of adrenaline. In. Scott Engine was there. He's one of a few homeowners who refused to evacuate. He said he did what little he could. Land as much hose as we possibly could uh, so that we could start getting a fire line. While watching firefighters do so much more. This area just to the south of his home, now mostly charred. The reality of it, of how close that came, we were probably 30 seconds away from losing homes. So it was, it was real dicey there for a while. That groundwork is paying off today as firefighters hope to get this fire completely contained by later tonight. But we had a good handle on the fire yesterday. Good containment lines, uh, about 60% contained and really focused on those uh, problem areas. It's work homeowners today are grateful for, especially those who were here to see it. We were uh, working shoulder to shoulder for a long, long time. And Wasatch Boulevard expected to be open here tonight at about 9 o'clock. That's also about the same time that firefighters hope to have this 100% contained. Deanie? All right, well, let's hope they do. It's uh, gone pretty smoothly up until this point. Thanks, Mike.